Former President Jacob Zuma's fraud and corruption case is back in court today. Zuma and the French company Thales face fraud, racketeering, corruption and money laundering charges. Well, the MPA had back a statement by Zuma's foundation claiming his trial will be postponed. The prosecution authority says today's date was never meant to be the start of a trial. To help understand this, I'm joined live now by ENCA's All Angles anchor, Tula Cesar Similani, is at the Peter Maritzburg Court. Very good morning to you. What's going to happen today? Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Dumelo. Well, uh, the tectonic plates are not going to shift uh, at the High Court here in Peter Maritzburg today, but something of significance might just happen. And I emphasize might because nothing is ever as predictable as it looks uh, with the state versus Zuma and Thales uh, matter. So we're not going to see any drama. We don't expect former President Jacob Zuma to be here in person. Uh, it is largely a process between the legal teams and the judge uh, who will be uh, presiding over this particular matter. It really is about approaching the end state of the pre-trial management processes with the setting of a trial date. But as I say, nothing is ever as predictable and as straightforward uh, with this particular matter. It is of significance, let me point out, uh, Jane, uh, it really is of significance because in a way, today's processes are likely to take us to where we were in uh, July 2006. Uh, you go f that far back uh, mm -hmm. when this particular case had an actual trial date, which was the 31st of July 2006. And of course, it is well documented history that the prosecution wasn't ready to proceed uh, on that particular day. And my goodness, did they go on to rue uh, that particular delay because the matter ended up being struck off the roll with the resultant delay that we have seen until today. Not alone. I'm joined by ENCA's Superman Lakok, a senior journalist uh, at ENCA. So, Superman, I was saying that nothing is ever as predictable with this particular case and nothing really comes easy. Even issues that you don't think will lead to contention, agreeing on a trial date, we've already seen from the public statements that actually it's not that simple. Indeed, and it's always the case between former President Jacob Zuma and the state when it comes to this matter. A simple matter like that trial date. We all know that today is significant because it will get us closer to the setting of that trial date. Today was always about a holding date pending the outcome of former President Jacob Zuma's co-accused French arms company Thales's application to have that racketeering charge withdrawn. Now they lost that and they decided not to appeal. Hence we are back here today. So today all parties will go inside court and then they will tell the judge that yes, we are seeking postponement, we are agreeing on this date and then the judge or the judges will have to decide what happens moving forward. But we have seen a statement from the Jacob Zuma Foundation citing these delays saying it proves his long-held views about justice delayed, justice denied, the NPA coming out saying well, it was never the case anyway. This was not the start of the trial. But as a matter of objective facts, you and I knew coming here, you and I, let, let's leave the parties aside. Let's talk you and I now and, and everyone else who's on the sidelines of this particular issue. None of us came here today expecting that we would have the first witness called. Absolutely. We? Not at all. Not at all. Because last year when this matter was postponed to today, it was said in court that this is a holding date. It's not the start of the trial. We came here knowing very well that today is not the start of the trial. So anyone knew that today is not the start of the trial. But there's also at the same time going on in the backdrop, Supermanja, and you, you can talk authoritatively on this, a political um, hand being played, right? Absolutely. Because this comes in the context in which uh, former President Jacob Zuma has all these disputes and running battles. Uh, talk about, you know, uh, war analogies. Forget Stalingrad. We're yeah. talking here fighting a battle on multiple fronts. This is Indeed. just one another front happening at the same time that he has his grievances um, right now actually amplified uh, against the judiciary. Indeed, and it's not surprising. I mean, former President Jacob Zuma is always on a fighting mode, you know, always on this war path. And 
what we are seeing playing out now is a continuation of his fighting strategy politically. He has got so many legal battles that he is fighting. Politically, he is done. He is the former president. He achieved, you know, ascending to the highest office in the land. But now he has to fight for his survival legally. So he's got these legal battles with the Zondo Commission. Yesterday, we understand that the commission said they will be writing to the Concord asking that a sentence be prescribed on former president Jacob Zuma following his defiance. Remember also he's fighting for his survival when it comes to this one, fraud and corruption charges from many years ago. So what we see play out is a continuation of that fight for Jacob Zuma who is trying to project himself as someone who is still relevant politically in the South African political landscape. All right, Supermanja will continue chatting as we build up to the start of proceedings here at the High Court in Peter Maritzburg. That's how it's looking, Jane. It's starting to drizzle a little bit um, as fate would have it uh, ahead of the start of that. But, yeah, in terms of expect expectations of um, a, a show of support politically uh, with the former president not expected to be physically in court, I doubt we will see much by way of... Um, you know, crowds assembling and the likes, uh, but certainly uh, his supporters, particularly the so-called RET forces, the same crowds that you are seeing uh, and groupings that you are seeing around Ace Mahashule, uh, are likely to remain vocal uh, in their support of former President Jacob Zuma, who, as we just pointed out, has other battles. And we must point out that he says he's reviewing all his legal cases uh, that, that are on the go and basically that have been happening in light of what he believes is a judiciary that is biased against him. He says he's reviewing all of them except for this one. Uh, it must be pointed out that with this particular case, his team has been saying we are ready to rock and roll. All right, Tillis, thank you very much.